The continuation of the external ear is the external auditory meatus. This subcutaneous parts, cartilaginous parts, temporalis muscle, and this is the bone, which is corresponding to the temporal bone. This is the petrous part of the temporal bone. Inside it's here, the middle, and the inner ear. The middle ear, this area, here the site for the tympanic membrane, while this one is the auditory tube or the ostachian tube, ostachian canal, that connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx. The inner ear, this is the inner ear. This portion is the internal acoustic meatus, and this nerve that exits via the internal acoustic meatus is the vestibulocochlear nerve. The inner ear divides into the cochlea and semilunar folds in addition to the vestibule. This is the area for the vestibule. The semilunar fold According to its location in the brain, it will be called uh, unnamed. This is the lateral portion, this is the uh, anterior, and this is the posterior. Okay, this is the lateral, anterior, and posterior. Semilunar fold. This is a small one, it is stapes which is part of the middle ear and part of the ossicles. This is the stapes. And connect to the oval window. This is the stapes. It's two handle or two arm. And this is the head or pace of the stapes.